All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for a film that I didn't even know about, unfortunately, and it just surprised me. It is called, it is, came out this year, and it is a period piece thriller film called The Promised Land, starring Mads McKinnison. And here's the plot. In 1755, Denmark, uh, impoverished war hero Captain Ludwig Kahlin sets out to tame a vast, unhabitable land of on which nothing can grow and is ruled under a Frederick the Shortical, uh, a merciless, merciless nobleman who realizes the threat Kahlin represents to his power. Now here are some of the casts. A very captivating film indeed. Very beautiful landscapes as always with Mads films he chooses to appear in. Uh, no matter what I think of, of his films, he always has the, the intimidating strong presence of him. He's a really good actor. He does have that kind of thousand long aisle, aisle stare or what we call it, brooding, whatever. But he's, he's really good at, at being this kind of badass without even trying. And I think when he does certain motions, and sometimes when I've seen him in films, uh, you, you can tell he does good. But for the most part, it's that type of pan facing, I guess you'd call it. The score added an intense dramatic feel, <clears throat> and sound design had a super rich sound to it. I also love the wide lens shooting, along with the overhead shots that was backed out, showing how vast and empty the landscape is. The color grading combined with the choice of lighting and the light scenes really set you into the dark and depressing time period. And there are definitely uh, the night scenes where they have a background where there's like all black. And all you see is in front, so they have like, uh, they must have did like a hour in the open and at night, like pure black night. And I had to be in that Denmark, um, so you can imagine. Um, but it's, it's, they have the light in front of them and it, all you see is them and then you see the snow, which is really cool. Um, the story was slow paced, but also tense at the same time. The story was well done and kept me invested. Now here's my rating, I'll come back my final thoughts. Now going into this, I didn't know what to expect, but even though I personally wouldn't call this a thriller, it was a super solid history drama with a little action sprinkled in places. I highly recommend this film as well to you guys. It is really good art piece, if anything. Um, definitely a slow burn and I could see certain people not wanting to watch all this, but it's only two hours and I believe it was like two hours and five minutes. Um, that's minus the credits, obviously, cause it's, then it's like, uh, seven minutes after two hours. So, but what, what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. Um, so I do have a plan on a film or two coming out. Uh, I don't know when, probably Monday, maybe Sunday, who knows? I just been feeling really, really energetic lately this week, which is great. Um, so I've been kind of pushing out more stuff. Um, but yeah, so I've gone along enough. Remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.